In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we now call to mind our sins. And we apologize to God using the following prayer. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Mass today is being offered for the healing of Mildred Reckla, Amy Reckla, Lucas Balanjit, Eric Lopez, Norma Gaspar, Charo Popo, Chelsea Dixon, Gabriel Lazari, Kiana Tran, Alex Tardici, Laurora Furtadis, Perlina Quattrochocchi, Dennis Mark Rogers, Norman George Pitcher, Maria Morales, Agnes Vu, Luis Medeiros, Rolando Monacal, Benjamin DeMello Kern, Sarah DeMello, Maria Lilia Tienza, Pacifico Trabado Jr., Arias Magali, Santino DeVito, Rugaba Benjamin, Fareed Daniel, Maria Battencourt Medeiros, Isabel Martins, Aurelia Delara, Olivia C., Jesse Felicissima Castro, Kelly Tapacho, Zaid Zafo, Michael Mello, Carmen Pace, Matthew Vacari, Michael A., Gloria Matthias, Gina Bellaton, Teresa Oligario, Madeline Lee, Benam Fernandez, Chris Jane Gabon, Ruth Padon, Irma Barico, Feli Canless, Peter Kajaloff, Andrew Maniz, Eduardo Morales, Mercedes Fagan, Magdi Gabriel, Cristino Sebio, Andre Bellodo. For the intentions of Eveline Richard, Benny Garces, Evelyn and Eugenio Cruz, all volunteers in the parish. For the souls of Augusto Bagnat, John, all souls in purgatory. We pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amidst the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, who is God, second person of the Trinity, who lives and reigns with you, Father and Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, in the sixth month, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the prophet Haggai. Thus says the Lord of hosts, these people say the time has not yet come to rebuild the Lord's house. Then the word of the Lord came by the prophet Haggai, saying, it is time for you yourselves to live in your paneled houses, while this house lies in ruins. Now, therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider how you have fared. You have sown much and harvested little. You eat, but you never have enough. You drink, but you never have your fill. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. And you that earn wages, earn wages to put them into a bag with holes. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider how you have fared. Go up to the hills and bring wood and build the house so that I may take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in its maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name with dancing, make melody to him with tambourine and lyre. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy on their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is glory for all his faithful ones. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Herod, the ruler, heard about all that Jesus had done, and he was perplexed, because it was said by some that John had been raised from the dead, by some that Elijah had appeared, and by others that one of the ancient prophets had arisen. John said, Herod said, John I beheaded, but who is this about whom I hear such things? And Herod tried to see Jesus. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The book of Haggai today focuses on the temple. It's important to recognize that at this time, the building of the temple was important to the Jews, and it created an environment where they could have social circles around the temple to create a culture around the temple, very much like it is for the Jewish people of today. And again, he's very pleased that the temple will be built. Uh, it's important to him. And in a deep way, this emphasizes the importance of community service. The temple is the focal point uh, in Jewish life, and it was important that it be built. In the Gospel reading, we realize that there is a new temple, and I've said this to you many times, the new temple is us. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes, we still have a church, but the church is full of people who actually are the temple, so that when you leave this building, you bring that temple with you, so that you evangelize, you bring people to know who Jesus Christ was and is. Herod today was interested in meeting Jesus. We are to be the children of the light. I had a lovely moment yesterday. Um, I've been doing school masses, my first round of school masses. Um, I did one on Monday, one on Tuesday, two schools on Wednesday, and I'll be doing the final school on Friday. And as you know, um, I, we've been praying for Isabel, and uh, she's the young girl with leukemia. And I was very, very pleased. Um, uh, she goes to one of our schools, and uh, uh, the parents came with her uh, to Mass, and they introduced me to her. I hadn't seen her in a long time. And uh, she finally got permission uh, to go to school. And um, she's never been in school. Uh, she's six and a half years old, but as you know, we've been praying for her for many years because of the leukemia and the chemo and the radiation. She still has a number of months of radiation left, uh, but uh, she's finally started school. She's never been in school, and she's six, past six years old, and she's never been in school. So it was wonderful to watch her interact and, um, and I asked the parents how she's doing in this new environment that she's never been in, and she's doing wonderfully, and the hair is grown back beautifully, and uh, she seems a very joy-filled child. And uh, again, we continue to pray for her, uh, but again, there is that sense of joy that we have um, when we see hope, and uh, she represents hope. I can only imagine, given the enormity of the cross that she's born uh, as a young little one, uh, what sort of child this will be. Uh, she should be quite remarkable, uh, given what she's had to go through. And uh, again, we continue to pray for her. But that's, in essence, what it means to be a temple of the Holy Spirit, that notwithstanding the pain and the cross that we are subjected to, obviously, not like hers, because that's pretty extreme uh, to have been diagnosed with leukemia at such a young age. Um, and then to go be going through all that chemo, all that radiation. But to have borne it and still given me this beautiful smile, uh, to have borne that and given me that sense of joy uh, that is in her, that's in essence 
the power of the Holy Spirit in us that enables us to see joy. Now, obviously, her sister, her parents have played a big part in creating this joy-filled creature. Um, but again, we give credit to God, the Holy Spirit, uh, who obviously has played a major role in her life and will continue to do so. We pray for her. We pray for her parents, her sister. And in a deep way, we look to that hope in ourselves to transfer that to others so that the joy that she gave me yesterday in seeing her, um, we then give to others how we bear our cross, how we are joy-filled, notwithstanding what's going on around us. But we need examples like that um, to inspire us and to help us to see the light amidst the darkness. It's very easy to focus on the darkness uh, and it is a joy uh, when one can see that light that is in us, that potential. It's in each and every one of us. So again, keep Isabel in your prayers. Um, keep her family in your prayers. And again, challenge yourselves. Uh, you know, in the school masses, I've been challenging the children. Make sure that you care. Make sure that you make a difference. Make sure that you volunteer. Make sure that you use your gifts for the building up of God's kingdom, whatever that means. Uh, bake sales, protesting abortion, and again, just to remind you, uh, on October 1st, uh, from 2 to 3 p.m., we are protesting abortion at our uh, designated street corner of uh, Central Parkway in Burnham Thorpe. Um, please join us. Um, it's important uh, to do that, and it's important to let people know that we believe human rights are from womb to tomb. Um, and not what others would say. So again, important that we decide how to use our gifts and to bring joy to others in this life and to make a difference in this life. I said to the children at the school masses, all of you have gifts, use those gifts uh, to build up God's kingdom. You can also use the gifts for your own good, but make sure that it's not it that there's more than for you. Uh, I said to the kids, you know, in their own language, you know, if you're good at math, help somebody who's not so good at math. If you're good at music, help somebody who's not so good at music. Don't just use that gift and say, well, I get A's in math. Uh, help people who get B's and C's in math. Um, you know, use it to help. So again, I'm hoping that little examples like that will inspire them. And um, I was very pleased that one, uh, at the end of one of the masses, uh, a little boy came to me and gave me $5. And uh, he says, I want this to go to the poor uh, because we advertised uh, the, in Street Patrol, the sandwiches to the homeless and the food bank uh, that we're going to be collecting food for. So he gave me $5 and he said, Father, I want this to go to the poor people. And uh, again, good. If, uh, you know, a homily like that activates uh, a little boy, must have been, I don't know, eight years old, um, uh, that's good. Like, that's, that's what they should be getting from the Mass, from the homily uh, regarding gifts, is give, don't just take. And that was the major theme, was give, take, treasures in heaven, not just treasures on earth. So, you know, again, the five bucks was a pleasure, not for the amount that it is, but for the sake of, you know, a young one giving it. Uh, if we can do that for our children, again, I told the kids, I have a job. My job is to help you get into heaven. That's essentially the job of a Catholic priest. Uh, in essence, there's you know, ways that that happens, but that's the bottom line. I have to help these little ones get into heaven. Uh, that soul of theirs is valuable and needs to be nurtured and cared for and uh, needs to be uh, taken care of in terms of making sure that it, they become light and not darkness. God bless.
Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness to receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we now acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. I bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis Leo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, in a special way, Augusto Bagnat, John, all souls in purgatory. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, then formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will live and reign forever and ever. 
The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other now the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring much everlasting life. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve God and each other. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Thank you all for joining us today. God bless you all. Have a lovely day.